Nativity of Our Lord Vigil Mass. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. You can do that. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, please don't let me get in your way. I mean, uh, <laughs> off here. Yeah, I can. Before, and what's the time, Kevin? Five fifty-seven. Oh wow, great! That's perfect. Isn't it? Yeah, time for. A Today you will know that the Lord will come, and he will save us, and in the morning you will see his glory. Good evening and welcome to this Eucharist. A welcome also to you who are watching on the internet. Uh, this is the first of four permitted mass, uh, masses for uh, Christmas. There is this, the vigil mass. Uh, mass is also said at midnight sometimes at dawn, and then again tomorrow morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 
Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbor in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. We say the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year as we wait in hope for our redemption, grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our judge, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. Please sit for the readings. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. About Zion I will not be silent, about Jerusalem I will not grow weary, until her integrity shines out like the dawn, and her salvation flames like a torch. The nations then will see your integrity, all the kings your glory, and you will be called by a new name, one which the mouth of the Lord will confer. You are to be a crown of splendor in the hand of the Lord, a princely diadem in the hand of your God. No longer are you to be named forsaken, nor your land abandoned, but you should be called my delight, and your land the wedded. For the Lord takes delight in you, and your land will have its wedding. Like a young man marrying a virgin, so will the one who built you wed you. And as the bridegroom, bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so will your God rejoice in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will, I will sing, sing forever, forever of, of your, your love, O Lord. Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. I will, I will sing, sing forever of your love, love, O Lord. Happy the people who acclaim such a king who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who find their joy every day in your name, who make your justice the source of their bliss. I, I will sing, sing forever of, of your, your love, love, O Lord. Lord. He will say to me, you are my father, my God, the rock who saves me. I will keep my love for him always, for him my covenant shall endure. I will, I will sing, sing forever of your, your love, love, O Lord. Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul reached Antioch in Poseidia, he stood up in the synagogue, held up a hand for silence, and began to speak. Men of Israel and fearers of God, listen. 
the God of our nation Israel chose our ancestors and made our people great when they were living as foreigners in Egypt. Then by divine power he led them out. Then he made David their king, of whom he approved in these words, I have selected David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will carry out my whole purpose. To keep his promise, God has raised up for Israel one of David's descendants, Jesus, as Saviour, whose coming was heralded by John when he proclaimed a baptism of repentance for the whole people of Israel. Before John ended his career, he said, I am not the one you imagine me to be. That one is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Tomorrow there will be an end to the sin of the world, and the Saviour of the world will be our King. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a man of honour and wanting to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. Now all this took place to fulfill the words spoken by the Lord through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel a name which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. He took his wife to his home, and though he had not had intercourse with her, she gave birth to a son, and he named him Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> You can do it comfortably. Can you remain standing, please? And we shall say together the creed. Together we say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, on the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now in union with Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Father.
On this holy day, let us thank God for his graciousness and mercy towards us in sending his son Jesus, born of a woman, to be the saviour of the world. Let us pray for Christians everywhere who keep this feast, in particular for those at the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. And we pray for the many pilgrims who will make the journey there. Heavenly Father, give to the world a sense of awe and gratitude that you have emptied yourself and become as one of us. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We pray for the world in which we live. We pray for an easing of the tension between Russia and the Western powers between China and the West generally. Let us pray that this season of goodwill can be extended into the future so that those of differing political opinions and different systems of government may wish to see the good in each other. Lord, in your mercy, and we pray for this community, for those who reside here and earn their living in this parish. Let us thank God for those who provide our emergency and essential services. For those who work throughout Christmas providing the care and services that are needed by vulnerable people and by those in emergency situations. Let us thank God for their vigilance and pray for their safety. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who are sick. We pray in particular for those who have issues of mental health. For those ashamed because they cannot support their families. For those who are without work. Let us pray for their health and their healing. Lord, in your mercy. Do we pray for those who have died? We pray for members of our own family who have died. We pray also for those who are still suffering from long-term bereavement and perhaps face their first Christmas without someone they have known and loved for many years. Pray in particular for Her Majesty the Queen. Heavenly Father, you hold all souls in life, and we pray for those whom we love but see no longer. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Let us complete our prayers by greeting the Blessed Virgin as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We are the body of Christ in the one spirit. We were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. As far as is allowed, please greet each other with a sign of peace.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we look forward, O Lord, to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly, for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord. The same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink. sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world. 
rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and say, Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom, all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of the most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious name, Mary, ever virgin and mother of God, Saint John the Evangelist, our patron and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord. of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we did to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory be yours, now and for all. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the Son of the Lamb. Lord God, I am not worthy to receive you, but only the same of the Lord, and I shall be healed. Mystical Supper, Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor give thee a kiss like Judas, but like the thief I confess thee. Remember, Lord, in thy blood.